little seedlings fighting for survival in oxygen-filled water bags is a common scene at a fish production facility at Agartala's College Tilla. An initial look at the fishlings in the specially designed water tanks might give one the impression that these are mosquito larvae. However, these are freshwater prawns produced using artificial methods in Tripura. This government-owned facility is a scientific breeding ground for this variety of fish which has a huge demand in the local market. Hirak Sarkar, a fishery officer who heads the facility, explains that since Tripura is not suitable for breeding freshwater prawns, scientific intervention is required for cultivation. Totally uh, what we do, we create artificial sea water or saline water you can say. With that actually, uh, usually uh, the prawn, no, it uh, it's develops in the fresh water and uh, the, uh, in the, in, even during breeding period also, we can find that in prawn, they actually bears the egg. So, uh, we collect uh, the parent uh, female prawn, we collect from the our local farmers, progressive fish farmers, those who are involved in prawn culture, we collect prawn from there. After that, what happened, we bring into our HD and we keep them into our cell and water and there are a lot of serious uh, series of process through that uh, prawn, uh, from prawn larvae we, we bring into prawn juveniles and after that only uh, we give after uh, becoming the juvenile stage uh, we supply to the, our uh, prophecy fish farmers or sometimes they approach us so through departmental scheme program whatever scheme program government takes time to time through those schemes we give and we give training also and uh, uh, Privately also a lot of farmers, a lot of progressive farmers, they take uh, prawn from us, by, uh, they purchase from us and uh, in that way also prawn culture is developing. Giant freshwater prawns are high in demand in the state's markets and the average price ranges from Rs 1200 to Rs 1600 per kilo. The fish carries an even heftier price tag during festivals such as Bijaya Dashami, Pohela Boisak and Jamai Sasti. Because of this, the government is encouraging progressive farmers to breed more prawns. So we give much more emphasis to our progressive farmers to go for polyculture. Polyculture along with cubs, uh, uh, mainly roux and katla, we tell them to uh, include into the pond. And uh, all bottom, bottom uh, uh, area fish like uh, uh, carp, common carp and migala, we tell them to discard those species, those two species, and only roux, katla and prawn. Prawn juveniles, they can add into the polyculture system, polyculture of prawn with cups. That kind of uh, technology has been prevailing in our state from uh, from 1996 onwards we have started. So it has increased. My like the progressive farmers has increased. Even uh, uh, day by day, it is increasing. The demand of prawn juveniles uh, from the local uh, fish farmers, progressive farmers, it has increased a lot. Of late, many farmers in Tripura who are working without any support from the government have also started prawn cultivation. And in Tripura last year, private people also, they have uh, taken it as an entrepreneurship and they started bringing prawn juveniles from outside state also. We have our own uh, governmental hatchery, prawn hatchery, but uh, privately uh, also some hatchery has started uh, started working. But there is, a, we can see it, uh, there is a huge uh, you know demand it has increased that from uh, Bangladesh or from Kolkata or Chennai or from others, other states also. They bring wherever this prawn, especially this freshwater, giant freshwater prawn, uh, in Bengali we say it Golda. So those uh, prawn juveniles, they bring it in our place and then they sell it to the, our local fish farmers. So you know, it's like win-win situation for, for all of us, for the fish farmers as for the middlemen also. And even the departmental approach uh, for polyculture of prawn with curves, it has, you know, it has given boost up, it has given uh, much more uh, profit to the our local native fish farmers, which is really a praiseworthy thing and which is really a very much uh, happy uh, news for all of us. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to East Mojo. For any queries, put them down in the comments section below and press on the bell icon for notifications.